afternoon, everyone. My name is Matthew Smith. I work at the University of Southampton as a developer on ePrint Sutton, which differs to development on ePrint as such, which is a different, which is the actual repository software. So there's a key difference there. Well, obviously, I do have uh, work with them quite often and uh, do have connections there, which we built up over the time. So, uh, my talk is on the ePrint Shells project, which is something which came about a couple of years ago, of, um, which is a way of um, uh, customising results which are shown on profile pages and to allow collaboration projects. I think I'm jumping ahead now. No, which is actually what I just said. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Yeah, with the profile pages, we have um, everyone's ePrint which they add, and which they, which they add is then stored, so then outputted onto their website profile page, which adds to their um, uh, value, I suppose, from the university and makes them look good. But um, there are a number of times when the profile pages show ePrint which they clearly don't want. Sometimes it can be um, where they've had a very limited uh, contribution towards, um, and it sort of Saturates the results so there can be more uh, important ePrints which are sort of pushed down the listings and they want these sort of highlighted. So there can be issues with the profile pages. Um, also, occasionally they can say that, for example, a monograph type may not be important for their department. For example, uh, I suppose physics may be less interested than perhaps social sciences or vice versa. Um, and there's also collaboration projects. There are um, various uh, professors and such like um, from different departments will work together on some projects and that project will then produce three or four ePrints um, as a way of linking all those ePrints together. Um, so what are shelves? Shelves is essentially is a list of ePrints, it's the very essence of it, um, but within these ePrints you can uh, customise the ordering of it in any way you like. Um, the environment is managed, so you can have administrators, editors, readers, and, uh, and perhaps the most key is it is exportable, so in the same way as most things are with ePrints, you can export your uh, output. So, the, um, yeah, first thing is obviously when you create your shelf, you'll need to add items to it. Um, you may notice some similar things to the collections, which was described earlier here, but uh, it's perhaps they're adding them in a very different, different way. Um, there's various ways. First of all, you can perform a search, which is perhaps the easiest way when you first create your, um, your shelf to, to add items to that. Um, if you can very specific search, like you, want to, like you search on your name, you can then add everything. And hopefully, that should be all your ebooks to start with. You can also add just the actual page, because it will be broken down into 10, 20, I don't know how many uh, ebooks you have. Or you, on a search, you can, we have a add button on the right hand side, which is which is instantly added, so you can just click five or six clicks and, and, and add various keyprints. Once you've got your shelf up and running, the next thing would be to add items to your deposit process, because adding it on search would be, would be cumbersome. So this is an extra step in the deposit process. You can search for your shelf and then say, um, and just click add to shelf in a very simple way as, as before. <coughs> Um, obviously, as I said earlier, those be uh, customising the ordering of the shelf. Um, we have various options on the, the right hand side where you can go plus or minus, and we'll just move them up or down as and when, as how you like. Um, there's also the option to hide an item as well, so which you just want to leave items at the end. Uh, if you, um, yeah, you could add items which you may then decide you, you don't want, but you may want to come back to later, which. And the key is another option for people if they need it. Uh, within the managed environment, we have the sort of administration setting. Um, so you have the administrator who can do pretty much everything on the shelf, an editor who can add and remove items, and then readers who can actually read <coughs> the shelf. Uh, that's perhaps less used in, in our current environment and generally it should be made publicly available, which is the option at the bottom, which is essentially available to everyone. Which is perhaps most common, but uh, if you didn't need a shelf limited to enough select group of people, that is uh, easily possible. Uh, and on to exporting shelves. Those who are familiar with reprints will see all the various exporting options. Um, you can just export the shelf in the usual way as if it was a, uh, as, 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 as if it was a normal uh, page. 
Um, obviously, there's more ways to export than, than this, but that's <coughs> there, a quick example. Um, and when we did shells, there were a few extra benefits which came out of the shells project which we weren't aware of or hadn't anticipated. And one of them is effectively the shell was very similar to actually tapping. So if you wanted to, um, if you're a department and you had uh, a number of shells which you wanted to uh, run a floor size with an eye on, you could add all those onto, uh, onto a shell and then effectively you have tagged it. It's not strictly tagging yeah, as some may, may use it, but it's a, a basic way of having things, which is an extra thing. Um, and the final bit, the be benefit is a worst that working feedback. It's a very new project which we've like, released, um, released recently. We've had limited feedback because it's only been out there for a short while. We're hopeful we'll get some more benefits to come through at the time. And plus, it slide didn't look too good for one way to know that. <laughs> as, as, as this proves. <laughs> um, the main, obviously, with everything, there is, you do have a few drawbacks. And the main issue is the extra steps involved. Um, can't really do much about that. We've tried to make it as simple as possible and give people various ways of doing this, but um, there are less sort of technical savvy people, they may find it to be confusing, be not for them, but then show us for everybody anyway. So that is uh, just an extra issue to bear in mind. And final note, if this has interested anybody, um, it will be released as a bizarre package in the future. Um, Sadly, I don't actually have a date for this year because, um, just to wind you up, um, essentially with various work which uh, eFridge services are, are doing mainly for us and we're taking up our time on other things. Um, it probably is the option to, uh, to get it quicker if you speak to me nicely. Uh, and any questions?